Now we're going to move on to talking about some other medications that might have benefit for cocaine use disorder. The first one is topiramate. So topiramate is approved for seizure disorders and also for migraine headaches, and it really has a different mechanism of action than most of the medications we've talked about. Topiramate works on the glutamate system and the GABA system. We believe that it may have some effects for cocaine use disorder by inhibiting the effects of dopamine when people do use stimulants so that they don't get the effect that they're looking for and thereby stop using stimulants. This study it was another randomized double-blind controlled trial for cocaine use disorder. They got placebo versus topiramate. The target dose was 300 milligrams per day. Probably the average dose ended up being 200 milligrams per day because many people cannot tolerate the 300 milligrams. We're looking at the weekly mean proportion of cocaine non-use days. After about week five, we see the group start to separate with the topiramate group represented in the filled circles demonstrating more days of cocaine non-use than the placebo group. And the separation even increases over time. Now, topiramate does have some cognitive effects, primarily effects on concentration and word finding. So that needs to be taken into consideration. But the data look really good for topiramate, and so that's a medication to consider when treating cocaine use disorder. In this study, the participants had both cocaine and alcohol use disorders, and they got placebo versus topiramate. Again, the goal was 300 milligrams per day. Topiramate was better in keeping people in treatment and getting cocaine abstinence in the last three weeks. And it worked better in patients who had a high severity of cocaine withdrawal symptoms. So again, not a perfect medication, but topiramate should be given some consideration for people with co-occurring cocaine and alcohol use disorders. Now we're going to get back into the notion of stimulant replacement. And in this study, they looked at methylphenidate, in this case, for cocaine use disorder co-occurring with ADHD. The methylphenidate dose was up to 60 milligrams per day. And some very interesting findings here. They divided them into four groups. There were placebo and methylphenidate groups, and there were those whose ADHD symptoms did respond to the methylphenidate and those who didn't. We're looking at likelihood of cocaine-positive urine specimen. You can see there are three groups that really don't change much over time, or if anything, they get worse during the course of the study, but one group is getting better, and that was the group that had an improvement in their ADHD symptoms due to the methylphenidate. So what this does suggest is for patients with cocaine use disorder who have clear ADHD, methylphenidate might be worth trying certainly to manage their ADHD symptoms at least. And then if they get a response to that in terms of their ADHD, they are likely to also reduce their cocaine use. We've seen previously that combining two medications with a different mechanism of action might have some efficacy. In this study, they looked at also a strategy for stimulant replacement, but combined that with topiramate in this study for cocaine use disorder. They're using mixed amphetamine salts, up to 60 milligrams titrated up over the first two weeks, comparing the combination to placebo. And the way they presented the data was looking at the baseline severity of cocaine use disorder. So they have three groups. They have the low severity who had zero to eight days of cocaine use in the prior month, the middle group had 9 to 15 days, and the higher group had 16 or more days in the prior month. So what you can see is this combination, and we are looking at the proportion of patients with three weeks of cocaine abstinence. Among the lower severity group, there really wasn't much difference between placebo and active medication. But as we get into the higher severity groups, we show a real difference with the mixed amphetamine salts plus topiramate represented by the light gray bars really outperform placebo. This same group 
also pursued just the mixed amphetamine salts alone compared to placebo for co-occurring cocaine use disorder and ADHD. And they tried two different doses of mixed amphetamine salts. 60 milligrams was the lower dose. 80 milligrams per day was the higher dose compared to placebo. And both of these dosage forms outperformed placebo with the higher dose doing a little better. There does seem to be a dose response effect, and we really don't know the ceiling dose if we were going to use mixed amphetamine salts to treat cocaine use disorder, what the highest optimal dose would be. So that's something we need to think about for the future. But again, if you were to treat someone with cocaine use disorder and ADHD, it's very worthwhile to consider mixed amphetamine salts as a treatment. It wouldn't even be off-label use because you'd be directly treating their ADHD. To summarize, topiramate shows some benefit for cocaine use disorder alone and in combination with mixed amphetamine salts. Individuals with cocaine use disorder and co-occurring attention deficit hyperactivity disorder appear to have some response to stimulant replacement, either with methylphenidate or with mixed amphetamine salts. Whereas individuals with cocaine use disorder but without ADHD do not seem to have much of a response to stimulant replacement. 